Aloha! Welcome to Hawaiian Sanctuary. This Saturday morning we're studying herbal teas and tincture making with the helpful herbalist, Ms. Barbara Foss. So Barbara, what do we have here today? Well, today I brought a few plants from my garden. We have green tea, Tulsi basil, red zinger hibiscus, Hawaiian mint, also called Hawaiian oregano, mamaki, related to the stinging nettle, lemongrass, and spearmint. So Barbara, what makes teas from the herbs better than tea bags? Well, I always say fresh is best. Mm -hmm. If it comes fresh from your garden, you know that it hasn't been sprayed with pesticides or herbicides, that it um, is purely natural, and they're just fresh. You get a fresher flavor, and the essential oils are stronger in fresh plants than they are in dried plants. So Barbara, this plant right here, the holy basil, it's really beautiful. Will you tell me about the medicinal properties of it? Sure, it's a do-all plant. It's known as holy basil or Tulsi in India, sacred to the Hindus. And it's known as an adaptogen, which means that it somehow is able to adapt itself to whatever your body needs. So if you have a sore throat, it's good for your sore throat. If you have a tummy ache, it'll help your tummy ache. It's just a good general all-around herb that you can drink some of every day just to kind of maintain good health. Wonderful. All of the plants here have medicinal qualities but I prefer to use this for a daily blend where you don't need a lot of oomph, a lot of medicine. For example, the mamaki is a diuretic. It helps to flush fluid out of your joints or out of your body in whatever way. Lemongrass is called fever grass in Central America because it's used as a tea to help to reduce fevers. Spearmint is good for the stomach, for stomach aches. When you make an herbal tea, just slice it up with a knife, or sometimes I use my clippers, depending on the plant. This helps to just give the plant more surface area so that the goodies that are inside go out. Throw it into a teacup or a teapot. Fresh is always best. And then pour boiling water over it. And just wait a few minutes. After about 10 minutes, we strain it, just so we don't get the plant material stuck in our teeth or anything. And then it's ready to drink. Tara, would you like to try it? Oh wow, that's amazing. Nice and fresh. Yeah, tastes like a, a hug, a nice warm hug. <laughs> so, what do we do next? Well, we're gonna make a tincture. All right, what are tinctures used for? Tinctures are easy to use plant extractions. Mm -hmm. They're super simple to make. All you do is put plant material in a jar like this and add a liquid medium, which is often vodka, brandy, or rum, mm -hmm. but you can also use apple cider vinegar or vegetable glycerin. Oh, apple cider vinegar, I hadn't heard of that before. Mm -hmm. Especially good for your throat. Okay. How do we make a tincture? It's so easy, you won't believe it. Just slice up your plant material, or if you're using dried herbs, you don't have to do anything, just dump them into the jar. This is the mamaki leaf. And typically you would fill the jar one-fourth to one-third full of the plant material. And then you pour in vodka. And I'm just gonna do a little bit because we didn't have a, as much plant material as we might have to fill the jar. And then close the jar up and shake it every day for a month. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the month, your tincture is ready. You can put it in bottles like this. So you strain it and put it in the bottle. Right. And then you can take that around in your purse or exactly. your medicine cabinet. Yeah, very convenient. Oh. And they sell that so expensively at the health food store. Yes. We can make it our so own. So cheap and easy to make, right? Wow. Yeah. Barbara, thank you so much for coming to Hawaiian Sanctuary and teaching us about how to use the herbs in our garden so that we may be more healthful and we don't have to rely on all these shipping costs and other people to do things for us. We are empowered to grow our own food and our own medicine. Mahalo. Mahalo to you as well. It's been a pleasure being here.